Hello and welcome to Camp Xbox, where we talk about all things Xbox, new and old. And on today's agenda is a review of Project Gotham Racing 4, an exclusive for the Xbox 360. Project Gotham Racing is a racing game franchise from Bizarre Creations. Uh, Project Gotham Racing is actually a franchise that we have spoken about on here before. We talked about the first game for the original Xbox, and we are fast-forwarding here to number four, which is the last in the franchise, and it is the last time that we have seen anything Project Gotham Racing related for the Xbox. It's really sad because Project Gotham Racing, the whole franchise for me, is one of my favorite racing franchises, and four is an excellent game. So what makes this entry different than the rest? And honestly, it's not a crazy amount, but one of the biggest things is the inclusion of bikes. Yeah, so now we can race motorcycles alongside cars. And one of the scary things about that is maybe, oh, they don't have the handling on motorcycles down as solid as they do cars, but no, that's wrong. Motorcycles feel different, but they feel great to race. Drifting in bikes as you get close to the ground feels wonderful and arcadey. I've played motorcycle racing games that try so hard to be simulations that it is difficult to play. But here, I would say that the motorcycles feel perfect. And also the cars do too. Everything here feels great to handle, turns, drifting, everything works perfectly. It's definitely Bizarre Creations taking everything they had worked on before and perfecting it. And if you're a racing fan, let it, just play this one for the handling. It feels wonderful. And I am a racing game fan. It's something that I've learned about myself over the past couple of years as I've played more and more video games. But I feel like Project Gotham Racing is definitely the cream of the crop. And it's really hard for racing games, honestly, to dig into what makes them work so well. And of course, car handling is one of the biggest things, but also tracks. You need to have really solid tracks and locations. I've played a lot of racing games that just reuse same locations and just gets tiring. But here you get a bunch of cities in Europe, uh, in Asian countries, as well as North America, and all of them really do feel different. The way the tracks are laid out based on tightness or harsh turns really is based upon the city that it is in. So if you learn a city, you'll kind of understand how those tracks work. And it, it's really good. Like there's such a solid variety to it. Really love traveling to these places. The only thing that I think is maybe a negative is that I noticed that we are reusing some tracks from Project Gotham Racing 3 here. They do look better but it is just the same tracks. So I find that a little disappointing, but they're great tracks. So honestly, throw those in with the new ones and you will have a really good time no matter what, especially if you haven't played the third one in a long time. Another thing that I really want out of a racing game is a really good soundtrack. A racing game with a great soundtrack only elevates it. And here, I think we have some really cool pools and a nice amount of variety. Uh, there are uh, really good rock stations, an indie rock station, which is, feels a little bit like a throwback to listen to what indie rock was in 2007. Uh, there is an electronic music station, which features some artists I really love, like Square Pusher. And the one I kept going to in this one is the Jazz Station. They had some really interesting pools. I feel like if you find a jazz soundtrack, it generally is like you're easy listening, but this had some weirder jazz tracks and I thought it was really awesome. And I really love that whenever you race in a certain city, a certain radio station plays that fits that city. And I think it just adds to kind of the depth of these tracks, really makes you feel happy revisiting them because you notice these tracks that work with it. There's also good vehicle variety. I felt like at every class there was a good amount of different cars, kind of stuff that I would like to see. Now, I did kind of just go with what they thought was the best pick for a car, so I didn't really check around, but from all the cars that I did go through, I didn't really feel like any of them controlled poorly, but they controlled differently, which I think is very important. You also need a good variety of modes for your racing game to really bring it into the top tier, and I think this one might be the best Project Gotham Racing as far as modes go. You do get your typical go-through tracks, earn gold, silver, platinum, 
medals based on your times or how many cones you go around. And I think this is already just really fun. Project Gotham Racing always had a good variety of not just like, oh, you're going to race. You know, you could do a coin thing. You could do drifting for points because that's the biggest thing with these games is you get kudos and kudos is how you buy more cars. And you don't get kudos just from winning. You actually get it from doing drifts or jumps or stunts on your bike. So it adds that extra layer to your race. So it doesn't keep being boring. If you're kind of bored, you've been in first for a while, well, why don't I try drifting through these turns and kind of perfecting that to get more kudos for later on. There is kind of a story mode. There is no story, but your goal is to get from the bottom of the leaderboards to the top of leaderboards and you kind of do championships. This one I would say is a bit more race oriented, but it's still really fun. I think racing in this game is great and you still earn kudos in these races. So you just try your best to drift and come in first place and it works very well. And so overall, I would honestly say Project Gotham Racing is an incredible game. It is one of the best racing games that I've played on the Xbox 360, and I think it'll stand up amongst many of the ones that I will probably play later. It's just perfection, and it's really sad that Microsoft ended up closing down Bizarre Creations because they were putting out some really good stuff. But I get it. I think Microsoft really wants to push and focus on Forza from here, from 2007, pretty much onwards. Uh, I guess going over the achievements section, going for 100% nowadays is extremely difficult. There are a lot of multiplayer achievements and it seems like you really need a lobby of eight people. And from what I was reading, lobbies are extremely hard and finicky to get started now, especially just even finding seven other people that want to get some online achievements with you. But there single player achievements you know it's mostly for completing the game you know doing races uh this doesn't bring down the game at all i just thought it was a weird thing so the easier the achievement the more gamer score it's worth in this game and the harder it is the less so like earning silver on every thing gives you 40 gamer score but earning platinum which is the highest you can go only gives you five gamer score it's just a really weird thing you normally do not see that but, you know, it's not bringing down the game at all. I just thought it was a weird thing to bring up. But yeah, Project Gotham Racing 4 is excellent. I highly recommend it for racing fans. And if you're not really a racing fan, this game might convert you. I think this is top of the line stuff. You definitely should check it out. On the Xbox 360 ranking list, I only have four games right now, but Project Gotham Racing 4 goes right at number one. Prey is an amazing game as well, but I think Project Gotham Racing 4 I will be revisiting for a long time and thinking about for a long time. If you enjoyed this game, please be sure to leave a comment below. I would love to hear your memories with it. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And hit that bell if you want to hear any notifications whenever I release a new video and you can stay up to date with my stuff. But we'll see you here next time at Camp Xbox.